Hello guys, welcome to the final Vietnam vlog. We are currently in Da Nang International Airport, heading to Ho Chi Minh City, where we are actually gonna be ending our time here in Vietnam. We visited, I think, six different cities and then a couple of day trips as well. And I really feel as though we have been everywhere that we wanted to see in Vietnam. However, we have not yet been to Ho Chi Minh City, so that is where we are heading. We are about to board a plane, but yeah, we're flying just because it was like 30 pounds each to fly and it saved us a whole entire night and I would always rather fly just anywhere I just prefer flying it's more convenient so we're heading to Ho Chi Minh City and I am very excited also coincidentally and I actually didn't realize this but today is the anniversary of the end of the Vietnam War the Vietnam War ended in what was then Saigon and is now Ho Chi Minh City and we are flying today I think it was 50 57 years ago today no no no, no. 47 years ago today sorry my math was way out there that uh, Saigon fell we didn't actually realize but there's a huge national bank holiday um it was really really busy yesterday in hoi an and we were like why is it so busy and then today we met a local and she was like oh it's it's the anniversary it's like a four-day bank holiday didn't realize that so we're heading to ho chi minh city and i think it's going to be busy but i think it's going to be good so welcome to the last vietnam vlog i'm very excited for you to see it subscribe if you're new and let's get into it Okay, hello guys. It is the next day now. Uh, I started this vlog in the airport, but never really updated you. I am gonna be totally honest because I think that it's better to be and show a reality of backpacking. Our initial entry to Ho Chi Minh City did not go particularly to plan. Our flight was an hour and a half delayed. Annoying, but fine. It just meant that we arrived at like 1 a.m. So checking into the hotel, there was like nobody there. And then when somebody did arrive, they didn't have a room ready for us. And obviously by 1 a.m. we were super tired just wanted to get to bed I was like flagging majorly um, anyway we get into the room and it was obvious that somebody had just been in there and they hadn't like properly cleaned it or anything and the person who had obviously been in there had been smoking so heavily like it stunk I try not to be fussy even if I'm bothered by it personally I would never complain because I just find it too awkward it's just not in my personality I would just suck it up and deal with it because I don't like making a scene and I don't want to cause an issue and I don't want people to dislike me and also out here there's a language barrier and trying to explain to somebody I just wanted to avoid it but both Tom and I put our foot down at this and we were like we can't stay here like everything we have taken with us now absolutely stinks of like stale cigarette smoke and so <laughs> this morning we were really like gracious about it we weren't rude at all we just were like oh is it okay if we check out early and they actually refunded us the two nights that we were meant to be staying after last night um so we did sleep there because obviously by this time it was like half past one we had no option saying that we don't leave a bad review yeah yeah he did say that he was like uh yeah you can check out early but please don't review us on TripAdvisor. so we were like but anyway, I'm reviewing it here. I'm being honest with you guys. It wasn't our finest hour, was it? It wasn't, but this place is lovely. I've just had a really nice bath. Yeah, Tom had a bath. We've checked in instead to Liberty Central Saigon. I think they have a few hotels across the city. They definitely do, because I can see another out of the window. And um, we're on the 22nd floor, which is very high up. And very weird. It's the 2nd of May, so there's a, there's a two there. We're both 22. And it is 2022. Now we're gonna head out and see a bit more of Ho Chi Minh City although I think actually we have a lot of time here so we're gonna take it at quite a slow pace but I just wanted to be honest intro this vlog sometimes backpacking goes like this um it wasn't ideal but it's happened and we've dealt with it and yeah there's a reality for you we're gonna head out now quick 30 second room tour of the new room here is the bathroom am I doing it do you want to do it people like my reviews bath this is the bath I just had very nice. Yeah. Actually, the biggest bath we've had so far. That's true. Usually, they're really small. Yep. I haven't used the shower, but it looks nice. The shower does look nice. I can confirm. Um, really nice mirror. Backlit as well, which is a nice little touch. Nice toilet, a bum gun, a little bag <laughs> for the, the toilet, toilet roll, which is just branded with the hotel branding. Very I'm nice. I'm going to take that with me. Okay. I could bring this back as a gift for Sam. Sam's his brother, by the way. I don't I think like Sam it. wants that. I no. Are we are into the master bedroom. Here we are into the master bedroom. We've got a nice, uh, what do you call this? Oh, that didn't sound good, did it? No, <laughs> wardrobe, that's a wardrobe. wardrobe. The bed looks very unmade just because we were having a little nap in it. Like I say, we didn't sleep very well. And then I think the star of the show, well, we've also got a desk and all my messy stuff, so we won't look at that. This is the view, although I'm worried now we've timed this badly because it does look like it's gonna rain again. We have had bad weather this morning, but like I say, we're on the 22nd floor, so that is pretty high up. This gives you some scale because that's like a five story building. And then me in my best, uh, uh, year five headband. Tom was laughing at me. He's like, 
So embarrassing. So embarrassing that you're wearing that headband, Molly. Can't believe you don't try to impress me anymore. Joe, he, he's joking. He is absolutely joking. Well, those Karens out there, I think I'll be honest about that. <laughs> to the reunification building or the independence palace we have come out for dinner uh, we got changed a little earlier we've come out to an indian restaurant Although we're not sure if they might have forgotten about our food because we have actually been here like nearly an hour. Today is not the best day. This is the reality of travel. That is why I want to give you an honest perspective. I'm like sat here with the wine that we ordered. That's all I've had, so I'm getting drunk. This is actually Tom's wine. So my glass is empty. Okay, guys, with that, it literally arrived. I take the comments back. It looks really good, although it still did take an hour, but it looks really good. We have come to a bar called Broma. It is a rooftop bar and it's actually pretty impressive. I don't know why my camera's gone like this. I'm very sorry. Hold on. We've got this incredible view of the Times Square Tower. I don't know why it's called that, but it's called Times Square. I've got this, this view. <laughs> and then this is what the rooftop bar looks like. It's really cool actually. How cool is this? skyscraper this is the Times square hotel i was talking about honestly i've never known a country love neon lights as much as vietnam but it's so sick and if you were wondering which you probably weren't this bar here with the fairy lights on the rooftop this one here this is where we just were having those cocktails the city really seems to come alive at night we've noticed this with so many places in vietnam like you see it through the day you're like oh it seems kind of quiet and you go out in an evening and there's just people everywhere same with Ho Chi Minh, Saigon, I really don't know what to call it. Everybody we've met has called it Saigon, but I know it's Ho Chi Minh City, so I'm like, Ho Chi Minh City. But we've had a really lovely evening. It is like 10.30. We're currently watching The Anatomy of a Scandal on Netflix, so we're actually gonna watch the next episode of that. Um, we've taken Vietnam a lot slower in terms of like partying. We partied quite a lot in the Philippines. Um, or we just drank quite a lot and we were like, we don't really need to drink as much. Having said that, I have drunk quite a lot tonight, but like we haven't been out like clubbing or really anything like that in Vietnam. So we're having an early night. We're going to watch Netflix. And if you have not seen The Anatomy of a Scandal, it is really good. It's on Netflix. I've seen a lot of people talking about it, but I mean, just look at that view. I've literally never seen a skyscraper or a tall building look as cool as this. We have come for breakfast at this really cute little place called The Godmother. It's actually right next door to the hotel. They do a really great mix of a Vietnamese breakfast and like your classic full English breakfast style breakfast. Um, it's also a really cute little dessert shop. They have a really gorgeous little counter over here selling like donuts and tiramisu and cheesecakes. Really cute. I just really like the interior of it to be honest. This is going to be our breakfast slash lunch because it's like 10.30 and then we're going to go out for dinner later because we have a busy afternoon, don't we? We are going to be... I might get the pronunciation wrong here. Yeah. I think it's the coochie tunnels. Coochie or choochie? I think coochie, but I, we'll find out. I might be a way off. We'll find out, but I'll tell you more about that when we're back in the hotel because it's quite loud in here. Guys, this was under the smoothie section, so I did not realise that this was not a smoothie. So I've ordered this and an avocado on toast because I thought this was a drink. I'm going to eat this and then ask if I can take my avocado toast to go. Oh, I'm so embarrassed. This is so stupid of me. This is the little brunch restaurant we've just left. It's on the third floor of a building, so it is a little bit hidden. But if you're ever in Ho Chi Minh City, I really do recommend checking it out if you want somewhere really cutesy. And like a little bit Instagrammable to go for breakfast. We actually didn't mean to go there. We meant to go to the cafe next door to the hotel. So I was behind like a room really stupid faces. But when we got there, they didn't have any breakfast that either of us really wanted. It was all like um, rice and like chicken noodles and stuff, which we just weren't really feeling. Um, so it was a happy accident. Oh, and if you were wondering what I did with the avocado bread, that's twice Tom's tripped over getting into that building. So if you were wondering what I did with my avocado on toast, they gave me it in a little takeout thing to go, so I'm gonna have it for my lunch. 
So our trip to the Coochie Tunnels, which I think is how you pronounce this, was one of the most interesting excursions that we've done whilst backpacking. If you don't know what these are, basically this is where a lot of the Vietnam War was fought. Essentially the soldiers fought underground in pitch black tunnels and look at the size of how small they are. Honestly, I was not brave enough to go down into them. Tom did it and said it was just pitch black and super tiny. We did this as part of an organized tour that we booked on TripAdvisor and it was really, really good. Everybody was really lovely. We had this guide that was so thorough talking us through exactly the kind of things that the soldiers went through the booby traps the tunnels honestly everything was covered in so much detail and it was just shocking to me to see it with my own eyes i genuinely even still watching this footage back can't believe that this war was fought in this sort of way like it's just crazy i've never seen anything like it and it really is a unique style of warfare i definitely think if you're in ho chi minh city it, it is worth the trip out to the Kuchi tunnels so we are back from the Chu Chi tunnels. As you saw, I didn't actually go down into them because I I'm not claustrophobic per se, but they warned us that there's like spiders and stuff in the tunnels. And I thought what's worse than seeing a spider is seeing a spider when you're trapped eight feet underground in a confined space in the dark with it. So I was like, I'm gonna pass. I know I'm such a wimp, like I do know that. But I'm glad that we went. Like it was actually a really interesting tour and we met some really lovely people that were on it as well. There was like literally just a group of us and we were all from England. So everybody was lovely. It took about six hours. It's like an hour and a half drive from Ho Chi Minh City. So yeah, it was a full afternoon activity and obviously the war is still so prevalent in making up what is Vietnam today because obviously we're here across its anniversary for one thing but also it is a fairly recent event like this is an ancient history this is like you know it ended in the 70s like this is my parents generation like it's not that long ago so everybody that we meet pretty much that is of that generation obviously have like memories and stories attached to it so it's always really interesting and I think if you are in Ho Chi Minh City or Saigon you should definitely look into visiting I think that it is like a main thing to do here but we're gonna head out for food now I've just got changed it is torrentially raining and thunder and lightning so I've put like trousers on and I was gonna like do my hair and makeup kind of like semi nice because it's our last night in Vietnam tonight but like I just don't see the point it is chucking it down and also I uh, kind of can't be bothered this is what you stuck with got some vegetable noodles for my dinner don't know why it's really spicy but otherwise it's really nice Tom's waiting on a burger is that what you went for in the end uh, pizza. pizza oh So it's been a couple of weeks since we last did snooker in the vlog, but I'm still bad at it. This clip is specifically for my brother who is very into supercars but if you've ever wanted to stand this close to a Lamborghini I'm not too sure why they're on the side of the street this one's nice imagine having enough money to drive around in a lime Lamborghini and feel no shame at the color of it not the car obviously but like, I feel like if you drove any other car in lime green you'd be like why on earth are you driving a lime green car but if you drive a Lamborghini in lime green you're like popping my whip yeah, sure. I mean, absolutely no disrespect if you have a lime green car. Just personally for me, I probably wouldn't get one. If it was the Lamborghini on the other hand. I like the one that looks like a, a Microsoft Word 2007 background. And if you know, you know. Good morning. It is our final day here in Vietnam. Here is Tom. We are about to head for breakfast. I've actually popped on this long skirt because yesterday I was really cold during breakfast because the air conditioning was just intense. And like, yeah, I get cold very easily. So... It's the skirt, but that's okay. But yeah, we're gonna head out, have breakfast. We're heading to a place that's like a Vietnamese brunch cafe. Yay! Not I'm sad. Strong coffee. Yeah, Tom's tired because he stayed up watching the <laughs> Liverpool Champions League final. No, Champions final. League semi final. I am sad because we are leaving Vietnam this evening. We fly to Cambodia. So this is going to be the last section of this vlog, but let's go get food and then I'll show you what we get up to today because we do have a pretty full day. So let's go. It is our final breakfast in Ho Chi Minh City. We've both gone for coffees. Tom's is caramel, mine is coffee even though it's meant to be milk coffee we are in this beautiful little art cafe called luzine they also sell all of the prints that are on the wall in here so they have like different art and then it's all for sale which i just think is so good it's also just a really really beautiful cafe it has a huge upstairs but we're sat downstairs i have been a bit naughty and ordered pancakes um but i'm very excited about it it's going to be a long day today because we fly this evening and i've noticed that whenever we fly in an evening we get food in the airport but like there never is really that many food options in the airport so I'd rather just 
have a big breakfast and a big lunch. I am excited because I'm very hungry. It's 10 a.m. now. It's a Wednesday. It doesn't feel like a Wednesday. I feel like this week got really thrown out because even back at home it was bank holiday weekend. But here they had like a four day bank holiday weekend. Uh, so green vacation day is the 30th which fell on a Saturday. Yeah. So therefore the bank holiday oh, carries over to a Monday. Monday. Yeah, that's right. Oh, there's the man with the fluffy dog. There's so many fluffy dogs in Vietnam. So we have decided to head to the Vietnam War Museum. I actually imagine that this is going to be really interesting. Tom and I have really tried to fit in quite a lot of history into this trip just because for me coming to Vietnam that was like a main thing that I wanted to kind of focus the trip around. Obviously everywhere we've been has kind of had like a different focus. The Philippines was like see the beaches, Thailand was to do a real mixed bag of like culture beaches also we just made amazing friends there coming to vietnam i was like i really want to look like deep into its history and its past and specifically the war so i feel like ending our stay in ho chi minh city it was only right to come to the war museum before we fly out later it's crazy how big they are like that's quite scary that's what i mean it's like it's very scary have just come out of the museum it is very intense very emotional it's really heavy stuff like it is not a light-hearted couple of hours but it is an informative couple of hours and I think it's done really respectfully and it's actually probably the most eye-opening and honest museum that we've been to about the war like it was just this is it in black and white like this is what happened and it, it is intense. I mean, it is a horrible war. Like what this country went through, I, just, I can't, I can't comprehend it. Um, so I definitely think add it to your list of things you should definitely do whilst you're in Ho Chi Minh City. But be prepared that it is very emotional. It is quite a lot. We're just gonna walk around for a little bit now, I think, to like take it in and um, maybe get a drink as well. It's incredibly hot today. Guys, I never ended this vlog. It has been a couple of weeks. I'm editing the vlog and I'm like, oh, didn't end it, what a shocker. This is a terrible habit of mine, but I'm gonna just wrap it up really quickly. This was the final Vietnam vlog. It is the final Vietnam vlog. And Tom and I were both so pleasantly blown away by this country that I think you guys, if you're planning a trip to Southeast Asia, should make sure it is high, high, high up on your list. I think it's probably like the second favorite country that we visited after Thailand, like at current during this vlog series. Obviously our opinions may still change we are still traveling but vietnam was just nothing how i expected it to be to be honest it is such a beautiful country with such a beautiful culture but also with such a sad recent history and i just think the whole country has so much going on every city felt so alive and i'm so so glad that we did it personally i feel like two weeks was long enough i've had a lot of questions being like could you do it all in two weeks you definitely can i feel like we did everything we wanted to do it was quite an intense pace though it was quite a fast itinerary so I think if we were to go again and do the same itinerary, we probably would stay for three weeks. The only reason why we didn't was because on your visa on arrival into Vietnam, you only get 15 days and then you have to pay to stay. So we were like, well, we'll just do 15 days and then head onwards to Cambodia, which is where the next little series of vlogs is going to be. I'm going to kind of combine it in my playlist to be Vietnam and Cambodia as one, just because we didn't stay in Cambodia for that long, so the vlogs, there aren't as many. Um, but yeah, I will link the Vietnam playlist down below if you want to catch up on all of the others, alongside the ones that already exist from the Philippines and Thailand. Other than that, I hope you have enjoyed our little adventures around this country. If you have, do give it a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, share it with any of your friends that maybe wanna go traveling or are heading to Vietnam soon, and I shall see you in my next vlog, which will be from Cambodia. Bye guys.